Hello, everyone, and welcome to Lost in Seeds, Navigating the Autodesk Installation Maze. My name is Juliana, and I work in marketing here at MicroCAD. And today's presenter is Laura, one of our new and dearest applications specialists. Um, in today's sessions, we'll learn the ropes of installing, of installing Autodesk software smoothly with handy tips to avoid common issues. Um, as usual, throughout the webinar, you can ask a question on the left-hand corner. Um, you can ask Laura to revisit a step or ask any questions. This is your time, and we want you to make the most of it. And in the upper left-hand corner, you will find links to our social media, website, and YouTube channel. Uh, make sure to check our YouTube channel. We post all of our webinars there at the end, so you can share with colleagues or watch it on your own time. Also, we will be sending the on-demand recording 24 hours after the webinar, so I believe you will be receiving it tomorrow at this time. And without further ado, I'll pass it on to Laura. Hi, Laura. Hi, Willy. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm going to start presenting my screen in just a moment. Could you please confirm if you're already seeing it? Yep. Great. Perfect. Thank you, Willy. Well, so my name is Laura Rueda. I'm an architect. I have been working in the construction and design industry for about eight years now. Right now, I'm a Autodesk AC Solutions Specialist at MicroCAD. Today in the webinar, you're going to learn how to find your teams, add users, assign seats, and install your software. So the first thing that we will need to know is where to find the seats. To do so, we have to go to manage.autodesk.com. And here we will need to sign in with our Autodesk credentials. We have to type our email address. Click on next, then type the password and sign in. This will take us to the home page of our Autodesk account. The next step will be to find the users. So we will have to go to user management, go to by user, and here we will see the team. We can click on the drop down list to switch between the different teams that we have on the account. Normally, when we have newly purchased seats, they automatically go to a new team and they are self-assigned to the account admin, which is the contract manager. To assign the seats, you will first need to add the users on each team. To do so, you have two different options. The first one will be to add users individually and the second one to add users in bulk. So to add users individually, we have to go to user management, click on the option by user, and click on the bottom invite users. We have to write down the name of the user, the last name, and the email address. Then click on send invite. And once the user is assigned to the list, we can click on done. It's important to note that once the user is added, he will receive an email from Autodesk to accept the invitation and the user's account status will be pending until they accept the invitation. They won't have access to the products until you assign them to them. And there you, were, you will be able to see the user that was added and the ones that made part of the team. The second way to add users is by importing a list of users. To do so, you can go to user management, select the option by user, click on invite users, and select the option import. Here you can upload a CSV file 
that has to be the same as the image show in this part with the first name, last name, and email address. You can upload a file containing up to 5,000 users. It is important to have the file providing a single row for each user and the three columns with the first name, last name, and email of the user. Then we can click on send invite. Note that you can continue working while the file is uploading and bulk assigned users don't receive a new assignment email. Now we can continue to assign the seats. To do so, you have three different options. You can assign them by product, by user, or by group. The first option will be assign them by product. We can go to the menu, user management, and select by product. Select the software that you want to assign and click on the arrow. Here you can click on assign users and type the name of the users or email addresses that you want to assign. You can click on customize to assign all product items or to select individual items. And then you can click on assign. Once the user is assigned, you can click on done. And you can search for the user that has a product assigned. If you want to remove it, you will have to click on unassign. The next option to assign a product will be by user. To do so, you have to go to user management, click on the option by user. Search for the user you want to assign a seat to. Click on the name. And here you will be able to see the assigns that the user, the assigned products that the user has or the products that can be assigned to that user. Select the software you want to assign and click on assign. The newly assigned product will be shown at the assigned products and to remove the user from that seat, you can click on on assign. The third option to assign a product access is by group. To do so, you can go to user management, click on the option by group. And here you will be able to see the groups that the account has. You can also create a group. You can write down the name of the group and click on create group to create a new group. And to see the groups uh, that are already created, you can go to the list, select the one you want, and you will be able to see the users that are a part of the group in the drop-down list. You can click on view assignments to see the assigned products that the group has and the products that can be assigned to the product. To assign one, you will only have to click on assign. To install the software, <clears throat> you can go to the menu, select products and services, all products and services. You can search for the software that you want to install. Here you will be able to select the version, if it's Windows or Mac, the language, and then you can click on install and at the bottom, accept. This will start downloading the AXE or DMG file, and now you will only have to follow the on-screen instructions to install. You can open the file, and once it starts downloading, you will have to uh, allow Autotest to make the changes in your computer and click on yes. Then you will receive a message from Autodesk asking you to restart your computer to install the software. You will have to click on the option Restart. Then an Autodesk message will come out saying that the installation includes uh, some of the updates and then you will have to click on the option Next. 
After this, Autodesk will ask you where you want to install the software so you can select the location where you want the software to be installed and click on install. It will start loading and after the process is completed, the install and update will be done and you can click on the bottom start. After this, you will be able to open your software and start using it. Just logging in with your email and password. Well, is there any questions? Thank you, Laura, for that wonderful presentation. And in, yeah, as Laura mentioned, you can ask a question now. Um, the first question I see, let me check this. Sorry, guys. Okay, um, could every user on the team assign a seat? No, only the primary admin, which is normally the contract manager, and the secondary admin are able to assign products to your users. Got it, thank you. Um, second question is, um, is it possible to install the software without an internet connection? Yes, there is a method to download out of this software, which is called direct download. Uh, we can see how it works. You can go to the menu, select products and services and all products and services. You can search for the software that you want to install and we are gonna make double click on the name of the software. Select the version, if it's Windows or Mac, the language that we want to install it. And instead of clicking on install, I click on the drop-down menu and direct download. This will provide a single self-extracting executable file that can be extracted and installed offline. Thank you. And I think I see another question. Um, can I remove users in bulk? Yes, you can. Um, to remove users in bulk, we can go to user manager management, uh, tap by user, and we will receive a banner that displays all the users under the team. We can click on the checkbox to select the users that we want to remove the seat from, one or more, and then click on the option Remove from Team. Then a pop-up confirmation window will come out, and you can click on Remove, and that's the way to remove users in bulk. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and I have a question from somebody who's asking about uh, setup uh, deployment. Is that something we can show now, or should we do another webinar on on something more specific like that? Because we we are reading you, and thank you for that. Uh, I think we could do another webinar to show that part. Yeah, actually, we have like this um, series of uh, topics that we would like to present you guys. So hopefully, yeah, we will cover that in the next. In, a, in another session. Yes. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you want to learn any of these topics in detail, you can always uh, take a custom training or rewatch uh, this webinar on our YouTube channel or the recording you will get. Um, and also I wanted to talk to you guys about the upcoming webinars. 
Um, we have coming up next on February 28th, a uh, Bluebeam webinar. Uh, Beyond Maintenance, unveiling Bluebeam subscription. That one will be at 1 p.m., so that will be next Wednesday, I believe. And then on March 7, we have Empower Your Designs, Harness AI for Seamless Civil 3D Projects with this new um, Corridor Easy um, that we're promoting. Uh, and I see another question before we go. Um, does the contract manager always take up a license seat even if they do not use the software? Not necessarily. The contract manager can assign the license, but it's it's not, uh, he doesn't have to have a seat to be able to assign and unassign the licenses. Thank you. And I think if there are not more questions, I would like to thank you, Laura, for this amazing presentation. And thank you, everyone, for attending. Thank you, Huli, and thank you, everyone, for your time. I hope to see you at the next, next Help Desk webinar. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye. You too. Bye.